Hey guys, Holly from Bayville. Today we're reviewing the Snow Wolf Exilis or whatever it's called. Here's the specs. So this little beast got a firing time of no point no 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 six, which I've said on previous reviews to me is kind of out there because I can't really test that. It's, no, it's just not viable. It's got a battery of 980 milliamp hour and it fires up to 15 watts. Its dimensions are about 40 mil by about 15 mil by about 85 mil. It's a pattern made of zinc alloy. It's got a resistance range of 1.2 to 3. E liquid capacity of 2.5 mil. Its charging rate is 1 amp and it takes about an hour to an hour and a half to charge. And it's bottom fill. That's pretty standard for pods though. The Snow Wolf Alexis. We've got the red kit. I've heard reports that it's not the best out there, but do not judge us until they've tried us. Crack it out. The world's first RPS rebuildable pod system. Boom. The charger, which is a micro USB. Chew, disgusting. Pod or coils. The pod system, which is very thin. The pod. The lanyard. The lanyards are becoming quite popular to come with devices these days, especially pod systems. I have noticed. QR pass. Quality control certificate. Warranty card. Quick user instructions for the pod and the coils. Manual, nice and short. And user manual. Well guys, I'm gonna crack on. So there's lots of mixed reviews online and I can understand why, because I haven't quite decided whether I like it or not yet. It's very standard. The LED is quite bright, that's pretty much the best thing it's got going for it. There's no different power settings, the airflow is quite very large for mouth to lung, but still when you do direct to lung, which you feel that's right, towards the end of the hit you get a dry burn. I'm not impressed, but also I'm not going to say it's rubbish, I just think it's very standard. There's not much special about it, apart from it's advertised that it's the first rebuildable. Let's be quite frank, from what I've seen, if you watched my videos last week, I rebuilt the Biden pod system. Now that's not designed to be rebuilt, but it's rebuilt pretty much the exact same way as this is. Okay, this is a little bit easier because it's got two separate connections, but it's the exact same. It comes with a lanyard, so what sorts of everything else these days. It's good if you just want something simple, but I, I think, to be fair, you, you're probably better off going for something like the Biden. I don't think it's as good as the Biden. I'm sorry, it's missing something, and it's probably down to the airflow. It'd probably be better if it had changeable airflow, make the airflow slightly bigger and make it changeable. I don't know. But I'm sorry guys, if I had to score it, you'd, you'd probably go about a 7 out of 10. It's, it's, it's not that good at all. It's not bad. Do, do, do not get me wrong, it's not bad. It's just, it's just not amazing, it's not brilliant. So there you go guys, a very vague, quick, simple review. Just because I'm a bit torn between everything. So the winner of a Biden is Peter Race. The Snow Wolf now going up for a uh, giveaway. Comment on the video below, make sure you've read the terms and conditions. You'll probably have to pay for the postage, yada yada yada. You know the score by now. Terms and conditions are below if you don't. Thanks for watching, guys. The winner will be announced next week as per usual. Sorry for such a vague review. I promise the next review will be a bit more in detail. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, ring the bell, all that malarkey. Hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. And most of all, don't forget, stay cloudy!